Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about the new model that is the product development and uh, today we are going to discuss about the new product development and uh, structuring uh, new product development. Uh, so now uh, we are going to discuss about the introduction to our uh, new product development. It is a process of all activities involved in uh, developing a product or uh, service uh, right from its initial conceptual stages to its introduction to the market that means if you are uh, making a new product and what are the process you are doing na? so those things will come under the new product development otherwise uh, you are uh, going to modifying the existing product like updation you are going from uh, windows uh, 8 to windows 10 like that and uh, now we are going to discuss about the few examples of uh, new product uh, development that means uh, how uh, they develop a new product otherwise uh, from uh, where they modified uh, converting the landline phone into wireless handset for uh, portability and uh, full time access to communication that means uh, uh, conversion of uh, landline into mobile phone and uh, fighter jet uh, we came from the aeroplane model that means high max speed uh, flights uh, and developing uh, electric automotive vehicle that means uh, zero emission uh, vehicle now we are uh, developing uh, uh, transform your traditional library into e-library to facilitate faster searching and accessibility of uh, electronic books and other uh, digital uh, documents uh, to mainly to reduce the uh, time as well as to reduce the uh, space and uh, now uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, why we require a new product development so first one is uh, change in market that means uh, every uh, year uh, the market tradition is uh, changing and next one is your uh, change in technology due to lot of innovations uh, from uh, big phone now to uh, smart phone it came so like that and increasing the competition that means uh, every year lot of corporates are coming as well as lot of startups are doing lot of uh, new technology so that is a uh, one that means huge competition is available next one uh, diversification of uh, risk uh, reputation and uh, goodwill and uh, utilization of uh, access uh, capacity seasonal uh, fluctuations that means uh, with respect to the season you have to sell the products so for that uh, we need new products and uh, growth and uh, development of the company as well as uh, the product so now uh, we are going to discuss about the benefits of uh, new product development it mainly helps to stay in uh, tune with uh, changing customers and uh, needs and uh, wants that means uh, their uh, corporates have the responsibility to keep their customers so for that uh, they are giving lot of uh, updates uh, and it helps to retain the customers and attract new customers thereby staying ahead in the competitive market so if the company has to withstand as well as if you want to make profit uh, they have to keep their customers as well as they have to attract new customers then only high profit uh, will be there customer requirements uh, are met effectively and efficiently so thereby providing a sense of satisfaction to the customers uh, this in turn enhances the company reputation that means if you are giving good product uh, the compu company reputation will be the like uh, if you see the iphone and all so it will uh, maximize the sales and earn uh, more profit so thereby enhancing the growth rate of uh, and uh, goodwill of the companies so the growth of uh, business extends to global uh, market scenario that means if it's a national company it can able to go for the international if it is an international company they can go for the global market so all the confidence they can able to make their branches and ability to target uh, new markets and increase their market share that means uh, uh, share of uh, the company we can able to increase or uh, uh, they can able to go for new contents for the new markets and uh, new products uh, creates new revenues which in turn can be used to research new ideas and products thereby creating the culture of uh, innovation in their uh, companies so now uh, we are going to s discuss about the structuring the new product development so suppose if you are developing the new product so what are the strategies they have to follow so under that uh, first one is idea generation so if uh, we have to generate idea what are the factors you have to consider first one internal sources that means uh, what are the sources the company is having so next one and uh, second one is your uh, SWOT analysis that is nothing but your strength weakness opportunity and threat of your uh, new product uh, uh, we have to discuss or we have to keenly we have to monitor so generally the profit will come and the next one market research so whatever the product if you are doing whether uh, the market is there so that one and the customers really it's related to your market research that one and competitions who are 
our uh, competitors so that one uh, we have to see and uh, after that uh, your idea generation then we have to do the idea screening that is nothing but a uh, lot of ideas are there so which idea you are going to work out so that we have to see next uh, concept development and testing the next nothing but your prototype uh, development uh, we have to do after that uh, your business strategy analysis we have to make it then uh, product development that means uh, at low cost uh, at less time uh, how we can able to fabricate so that one we have to discuss after that we have to do the test marketing that means uh, uh, sample of customers or uh, sample of areas uh, we have to take and then uh, we have to test our product once uh, that testing is over then we have to go for the commercializing the product then only we can able to uh, success in the market as a, and we can able to keep our customers in the company so for that uh, uh, we need uh, these steps uh, now i'm going to play a small video for you all uh, better understand Every marketer goes through a series of steps before finally launching and commercializing a product. The new product development process begins with idea generation. Every company actively looks for ideas that can be commercialized. For this, the research and development team continuously reviews possibilities of product development. Typically, a company generates hundreds of ideas, maybe even thousands, to find the handful of good ones in the end. The next step in the new product development process is idea screening. Idea screening is nothing but filtering the ideas that have been generated before to pick out good ones. In other words, all the ideas generated are screened to spot out good ones and drop the poor ones as soon as possible. While the purpose of idea generation was to create a large number of ideas, the purpose of succeeding stages is to reduce that number. The reason behind this is that the product development cost rise greatly. Therefore, the company would like to go ahead only with those product ideas that will turn into profitable products the next step is concept development and testing to go on in the new product development process attractive ideas must be developed into a product concept a product concept is a detailed version of the new product idea stated in meaningful consumer terms let's take an example a car company thinking about developing a new car can create the following product concept concept 1 an affordably priced mid-size car designed as a second family car to be used around town for visiting friends and doing shopping concept 2 a mid-priced sporty compact car appealing to young singles and couples concept 3 a high-end mid-size utility vehicle appealing those who like the space of SUVs but also want an economical car once a company has decided on the product concept it can evaluate business attractiveness of the proposed new product This stage involves a review of sales, cost and profit projections for the new product to find out whether these factors satisfy the company's objectives or not. If they do, the product can be moved to the product development stage. In the product development stage, the product concept can be converted into a physical product. The research and development department will develop and test one or more physical versions of the product concept. Developing a successful prototype, however, can take days. weeks months or even years depending on the product and prototype methods the last stage before commercializing is test marketing in this stage the product and its proposed marketing program are tested in realistic market settings therefore test marketing gives the marketer experience with marketing the product before going to the great expense of full introduction the final stage is commercialization commercialization is nothing but introducing a new product in the market large amounts may be spent on advertising sales promotion and other marketing efforts hello and welcome to marketing91.com in this video we are going to cover the topic on new product development process let's start with the introduction Launching a new product is not always about generating a product that is new to the world. As a fact, according to Kotler, hardly 10% of all the new products are actually innovative and unique to the market. Companies usually upgrade their existing products by relaunching them as new ones or adding some new products to the current product mix. This helps to cater to customers' ever-changing needs and taste, technology and product life cycles. Moving further, irrespective of the type of the new product developed, its process can be simply broken down into eight different stages which are first idea generation second idea screening 
third concept development and testing fourth marketing strategy fifth business analysis sixth product development seventh test marketing and finally commercialization now let's look at each one of them briefly with some examples starting with idea generation ideas that are unique and meet with the consumer's needs form the spine of the new product development it is the most important step in developing any new product and they arise from market opportunities that can be innumerable this stage suggests creating a large pool of ideas from both internal and external sources using numerous techniques internal sources consist of the research and development department and employees of the firm external sources include end customers channels of distribution competitors and other sources such as consultants communities government agencies market research firms commercial laboratories etc now let's look at an example google Google's most prominent management philosophy is the 20% time policy which was created by Google founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin in 2004. In this policy, the company had been encouraging its employees to dedicate 20% of their time to side projects, which is one of the primary reason why it remains as one of the most innovative companies in the world. It intended to give employees one full day per week to work on a Google related passion project of their choice. The results have been unbelievable and revolutionizing and their exhibits are Gmail, Google Maps and Slack that started as side projects. Now moving on to stage 2 of idea screening. This stage involves the evaluation of the pool of innovative ideas and discarding the lesser effective ones. This is done by defining and evaluating the ideas based on the following elements. First, compatibility. Compatibility of the concept with the overall business objective. Next, relevance of the idea based on the existing and predicting business conditions and goals third validity of the premises on which the idea is based upon fourth internal and external barriers that inhibit the growth of the idea into reality fifth practicality of the idea to work based on resources available sixth the idea's predicted return on investment and finally internal or external risks that may limit the idea's progress Moving further, there's a possibility of two types of errors to occur in the new product development process, and the idea screening stage serves as a filter to prevent the business from them. These errors are drop error, that is discarding a good idea, and go error, going ahead with a bad idea. Example in this case could be the television show Friends almost didn't see the light of the day, which was almost a drop error. The national broadcasting company's comedy show Friends enjoyed a good 10-year run from 1994 to 2004 as a continuing powerhouse for ratings. According to an internal NBC research report, the show nearly didn't see the light of the day as a pilot episode was reported as not very entertaining, clever or original and was given a poor grade, scoring 41 out of 100. Example 2, my Starbucks idea. Howard Schultz in 2008 introduced the My Starbucks idea to increase further the company's focus on the customer and their wants. Starbucks on My Starbucks idea gave customers insight into what the company was doing and made them the feel of an insider. This idea has seen colossal success and has been the source of ideas such as cake pops, hazelnut macchiato and free Wi-Fi. In 2013 by the 5th anniversary of My Starbucks idea the company had generated over 150000 ideas and implemented 277 best ideas out of them Moving on to the next stage of concept development and testing an idea is different from a concept an idea is just an imaginative construction of a business possibility or an opportunity but a concept is an idea that has passed through the process of fine tuning and is not as inconsistent The concept is a prepared version of the product idea which takes into consideration the following points. First, potential target audience. Second, product usage and third, potential value proposition. Example, a fitness center could be a product idea, but a product concept would be a more of a fitness center that focuses on giving yoga sessions to working women offline in the morning and online in the evening. An example of concept testing would be Lego ideas. Lego as a brand has been leveraging crowdsourcing to design innovative new products through its Lego Ideas website. Users here are given a complete liberty to design their Lego products from scratch using their free software provided by Lego. The finished idea is then voted for by the consumers and the most popular designs are finalized, manufactured and sold as Lego branded products giving the original owner some royalties. Designs that gain 10,000 votes in 6 months are considered as eligible for review where Lego then determines whether or not it will actually manufacture and sell the designs. Main reasons that the company reject designs after receiving good levels of support are IP infringement, inappropriate content for younger viewers, 
and design characteristics that would prove the project to be unprofitable. Moving on to the next stage of marketing strategy development. Once a concrete concept is finalized, the next step involves generating a marketing strategy for the new product. The marketing strategy is divided into three parts. First, a detailed summary of the target market size, structure and behaviors, the proposed value proposition, the product positioning strategy, sales size, market share and profit goals for the first few years. Next, an outline of the pricing strategy, distribution strategy and the required marketing budget for the fourth year. And finally, the marketing mix strategy and the planned long-term sales and profit goals. Next to stage five, which is the business analysis. The next step after the product and its marketing strategy is finalized is the evaluation of the product as a business by reviewing the following points. First, expenses incurred in manufacturing, marketing and selling. Second, projected sales and third, projected profits. The analysis is then compared with the firm's goal and the product is sent for production only if the above stated factors satisfy the objectives. Moving on to stage six, which is the product development stage. The product up to this stage only existed as a word description, a drawing or a prototype. After business analysis clarifies the product, the research and development department takes over for an actual product development. Here the product may take days, weeks or even months to develop the final product as it goes through the sequence of testing phases, alpha testing and beta testing to verify all the assumptions. Alpha testing is examining the product inside the firm to ensure it meets the set standards Whereas beta testing means launching a minimum viable product or a test version in the market to verify the product market fit. Nevertheless, it doesn't include testing the final end product or marketing strategy. The example here is of Samsung Note 7 failure. Samsung Galaxy's Note 7 failure is one of the examples of improper product development. The faulty batteries cost the consumer electronic giant $14.3 billion in losses in 2016. Moving on to stage 7 test marketing. After the product development stage, the product is then given a brand identity and introduced in a selected market segment as a pilot for testing. The product is taken to the next step and developed in full scale only after test marketing shows positive results. There are three kinds of test markets. First, standard test market. These comprise of small representative markets, for example, a single concentrated city instead of the full state where the firm conducts a full-fledged marketing campaign and makes use of store audits, customer surveys and distributor surveys. Next, control test markets. These are artificial testing venues like panels of stores that consent to carry out new products for a fee. Even here, there's a risk of competitors gaining access to the new product. And third, simulated test markets. These are events of a shopping environment created by the firm to examine customer behavior concerning the new product and its competitors. This test market also lets the researcher interview customers. One of the examples that need to be highlighted here is a Samsung Galaxy Fold failure. CNET, an American media website, decided to put the Galaxy Fold through a folding torture test. The phone didn't live up to Samsung's promises. The $2,000 device was put into a machine that would swiftly fold it and unfold it. As a result, the display failed at around the 120,169 folds mark. Samsung, upon the announcement of the Fold, said it had tested up to 200,000 folds in internal testing. Samsung Electronics CEO DJ Ko called the company's failed launch of its radical screen-bending Galaxy Fold embarrassing. Additionally, Co took personal responsibility, admitting, I pushed it through before it was ready. And finally, stage 8 of commercialization. Test marketing stage provides the management with the data needed to make the final decision of launch about the product. After the final decision of the product to be launched in the market is made, it goes into the ultimate stage of commercialization and is manufactured in the required quantity. This stage involves high cost as manufacturing units are rented or purchased. Advertising and communication campaigns are administered and sales promotion and other marketing efforts are executed to develop an initial demand. Various important decisions are made during the commercialization stage such as First, introduction time, that is what is the best time to launch the product. Second, introduction place, should the product be launched in a single market or simultaneously in multiple markets. And finally, future strategies, what should be the strategies that will be taken once the product is launched in the market. So that's it folks, this brings an end to the topic on new product development process which entailed 8 stages. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. If you've liked the video, do subscribe to our channel. If you want to view these videos in an organized manner, you can visit freecourses.net where all our videos are arranged in the form of courses. Thank you and see you in the next video.